Minister of Tourism, Transport and Ports, Lindsey Grant, said the Ministry of Tourism held a future tourism business adaption program to train 46 primarily women-headed micro, small and medium enterprises in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Minister Grant was at the time making his address for World Tourism Day on September 27th. The program is jointly funded by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, the University of the West Indies, UE, and the Frankfurt School of Finance and Management, covering concepts such as digital technologies, financial planning, and marketing. Minister Grant stated that the purpose of this program was to ensure our human capacity development agenda keeps pace with the rapidly evolving and dynamic industry. Both internal staff and external stakeholder businesses have been participating in a number of virtual and face-to-face -face seminars that have provided practical insight into the future of the work in the sector and technologies for transitioning to the new normal that will define the industry. He said the first phase of the 18-month long program ends in September of this year. Starting in June, for example, the Ministry of Tourism facilitated the participation of 46 primarily women-headed micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, in the Federation in the future tourism business adaptation program. The training initiative is jointly funded by the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, the University of the West Indies, and the Frankfurt School of Finance and Management, covering concepts such as digital technologies, financial planning, and marketing. The first phase of the 18-month-long program ends in September of this year. In this period of recovery, this training is indeed timely and practical to help these vulnerable businesses adapt to increased demands for enhanced health and safety practices. Use of blockchain technologies such as mobile payment systems, digitalized tourism services and other platforms which will expand visitor choices, spur innovation and development and facilitate access to markets within the tourism value chains. Moreover, the program complements core projects already being implemented by the Ministry and is aligned with key UN Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, that promote gender equality, poverty reduction, and support for sustainable cities and communities. Minister Grant said that promoting gender equality, poverty reduction, and support for sustainable cities and communities remain the Ministry of Tourism's mandate and mission as the Federation continues on the journey to rebuild and reinvigorate the local tourism sector. I am Jacynthia Tishiro for SK Newsline.